Let's get ready to solve some problems. Problem one, 12 apples are on the table. Three of them are green and the rest of them are red. How many apples are red? In this problem, you start by learning that there are 12 apples on the table. Even though we don't know their color, we could draw out 12 apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We'll figure out their color later, but we know the total number of apples is going to equal 12. Next, we learned that three of these are green. Well, we could color them now. One green, two green, three green. We could say in our number sentence, we have three green apples. Then the problem says, the rest of them are red. Well, this means that some amount of apples are red. We can leave it blank for now, but we do know that the three green apples plus these red apples will give us all 12. And the problem says the rest of them are red. So we can color the rest of the apples red. To figure out how many apples are red, you just need to count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There must be nine red apples. Now let's do a problem together. 11 pieces of fruit are in a bowl. Seven of them are apples and the rest are bananas. How many bananas are in the bowl? Well, how many pieces of fruit do we have in total? The problem says 11 pieces of fruit are in a bowl. Even though we don't know what type they are, we could show one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 spaces to show that the total number of pieces of fruit equals 11. Now, how many apples do I have? Well, the problem says seven of them are apples. So we could show that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven apples, and write that we have seven apples into our number sentence. Next, the problem says the rest are bananas. So we know all of these empty spaces are bananas, but do we know exactly how many that is? Well, the problem doesn't tell us, so in our number sentence, we'd put a blank. But we know that seven apples plus these bananas will give me all 11 fruits. To figure out how many bananas are in the bowl, you just have to count up those banana spaces. One, two, three, four. There must be four bananas in the bowl. Now you try a problem on your own. At an animal shelter, there are 14 dogs. Six have brown fur and the rest have black fur. How many dogs have black fur? This problem tells you that there's a total of 14 dogs. We don't know their color, but we could show 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dogs. We know the total amount of dogs will equal 14. Next, we learn that 6 have brown fur. So we could color 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 dogs with brown fur and in our number sentence write that we have six brown dogs. Then the problem says, the rest have black fur. So we know the rest of these dogs will have black fur, and we know that six plus this number will give us 14. To figure out how many dogs have black fur, we can just count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There must be eight dogs with black fur. Here's your last problem for today. 12 people are coming to a grill out. Five people want hamburgers and the rest want hot dogs. How many people want hot dogs? Well, we know 12 people are coming to our grill out. We can picture them as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We know the number of people will equal 12. Then we learn that five people want hamburgers. Well, we could show them as one, two, three, four, five people getting hamburgers. We'll put the number five into our number sentence. Then we learn that the rest want hot dogs. That means all of these people want hot dogs. It's some mystery amount, but you know five plus this amount will give you 12, and you can figure out what it is by just counting. If you want to know how many people want hot dogs, just count up the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. You know that seven people want hot dogs.